Hi guys, you're from Troy 11 Music here. Today we will be looking at a very great outside soprano lick by Eric Marienthal on Chikoria's album Beneath the Mask and also the title track Beneath the Mask. He plays a short solo and he plays just this one super hip outside line that always would throw me off when I was about 15 or 16 and my mind was blown at the time. My mind is still blown, but I just understand just a bit more what is happening there and it's it makes it only cooler. So let's take a look at what he plays. So what you hear Eric do here is he has a short solo on this one. It's kind of towards the end of the tune. So he's very strong on everything he plays in here and also Important to mention is that he did two foregoing parts where he uh, landed very strongly on the C sharp. We are in on a F sharp seven, so the C sharp was kind of his hook note he worked around for the first six or seven bars. And now he takes that one again. Very inside he starts on this lick. even quite pentatonic on a F sharp uh, minor, but then all the good stuff happens. Then he goes to up a F natural, which is the major seven, that's already quite outside, but I would still see that as a chromatic approach note to the E, which is the flat seven. Then he goes down uh, with a diminished arpeggio. So the E is in the F sharp seven, the C sharp is, um, the A sharp or the B flat is, and then the G natural is the flat nine. So that's the first outside hint, but still within a clear narrative, just a little alteration there. And that's what I like about it. So he introduces it first with a small alteration in this diminished sense, which is a color on itself. And even if you incorporate this F natural with it, it's a cool sound. I like that sound already. That's, if you combine those notes, that's nice to uh, fool around with. But then he accelerates in his outside-ishness, if that's the word. Then he goes to it's kind of simple, a C triad, but a C triad on an F sharp seven is the tritone substitution. So that's a clear imposition you can do, the tritone substitution. So F sharp, a triton away, a C, and he takes that with an uh, triad. That's clear, that's outside, that's hip. I like that he makes, you know, the jump down from the C to the E, and then you have a little bit of a shape with jumps there. And then from the next beat on, then he actually accelerates once more in his outside-ishness, which is still not a word. And he goes to a G minor pentatonic on a F sharp dominant seven. So. All good. If you hear me play that like this without the context, you think, well, sounds pretty normal. But within the context of F sharp seven, that's really in your face outside. So that's melodically what is happening here, but that's not the only thing that I like. The other thing that I like, I just mentioned already a bit, but is the bigger jumps uh, that he does on this one part. <laughs> so it's really classical if you play it like this, but there is already just a little bit space in between the notes. And the notes that are popping out here the most is this C natural, which is a sharp 11 on this F sharp seven chord. And it of course pops out because it's one of the higher notes of the lines, but also because he definitely phrases that 
uh, second one you see there. It's also on the fourth 16th, so it really really has some impact I think. And then later you see this minor seventh jump. Um, there we are already in the G minor penta, but just the jump there has also impact. So when I first subjectively experienced this lick as a 15 year old and I didn't know that much yet about melodic context, it was just like you get some slaps in the face because of those jumps that are all over the place and just outside the chord. But it felt so cool. And he resolutes it within his outside this and he never really resolves in this line, but he kind of resolves this jumpiness of the outside lick by getting more into a normal pentatonic scale on the G minor 7, if that makes sense. But it's one hell of a cool, cool lick. <laughs> The way he phrases is very important here. We tend to always look at the melodic content of a lick, which can be very interesting and which is in this case also very interesting, but the way he phrases it gives it that extra edge that it needs. So that's also very important. On the original recording there on the F sharp 7 for B flat instruments, but it's not very outspoken at that spot of this lick. So let me show you this lick with an actual very clear F sharp 7 underneath this lick. And then you can hear the impact even more and where every outside note sits in context. <laughs> So that's a lick that is progressive, going way more outside each beat almost in three steps. Very cool lick by Eric Marenthal. Let me know what you think of this lick, if this was helpful and also if you like this lick even. Which licks do you like and why do you like them? I, that's something I really would like to know from you guys. Leave a comment with them uh, which tune and which lick and which certain spot and try to also communicate in words why you like it. So it can be rhythmically, can be melodically, can be Phrasing wise can be sound wise can be a combination of all those mentioned or even more parameters Think about why you like something and let me know if you like this We have way more analyses and PDFs and more goodies at our patron So check that out if you haven't subscribed to the channel for more stuff like this and I'll hope to see you in the next time.